Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Veterans Weekend here at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. Today, we recognize the dedication, sacrifices, and achievements made by our veterans who have defended our freedoms and our country. At this time, we would like to begin our ceremony with the performance of the national anthem by our very own Six Flags Discovery team member, Monica Rose Consolacion, as well as a presentation of the colors by our Jesse Bethel High School JROTC. Please put your hands together for Monica Rose Consolacion. Please join me in giving a big round of applause to Monica Rose and the Jesse Bethel High School JROTC. Now we are going to continue our ceremony for our Veterans Day weekend by welcoming up our Six Flags Discovery Kingdom Park General Manager Damian Nelson. Put your hands together for Damian. Hello everyone and 
and uh, welcome to Six Flags Discovery Kingdom and welcome to Veterans Day here at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. Uh, we are very proud to have all of our guests with us today and also proud to be honoring our veterans through uh, all the things we're doing today, including a lot of our charitable work that we've done and opportunities to celebrate and honor all of our guests. We're also very happy to continuously service the community of Vallejo and all of its great residents. And um, we're also happy that uh, to be the first, the first recreation park to receive the Purple Heart uh, from the United States, which occurred in 2016. So a lot of great things. We want everyone to have a great day here today and uh, really are excited to be presenting you with this great facility to enjoy. And on behalf of the entire Six Flags team, thank you for being here. And I would like to, at this point, turn it over to Mark Marino, who is our public relations specialist and manager here at Six Flags. Thank you, Damon. Um, we have a couple of distinguished guests here this afternoon, uh, starting first with the City of Vallejo Vice Mayor, Rosanna Herder Aliga. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Damien, for uh, the invitation to join you in the celebration of Veterans Day today. Uh, I'm Vice Mayor Rosanna Berger Liga, and on behalf of the City of Vallejo, I humbly express our big thank you to Six Flags Discovery Kingdom for always making time to commemorate Veterans Day and for always going above and beyond to honor our veterans. Service members and their families, it is especially most fitting to do this ceremony because your amazing park have become the first park theme park in the United States as, and the former Mare Island, Mare Island Naval Shipyard a few miles west uh, built the best surface ships and submarines, repaired thousands of vessels as well. Our city is especially grateful to Six Flags Discovery Kingdom because you positively make a big difference in the lives of young men and women by providing them with good wages, jobs, and valuable work experience. And Six Flags Discovery Kingdom is one of the biggest employers here in Vallejo, so we thank you. I also commend Six Flags Discovery Kingdom because you are using renewable energy with solar panels to power up this magnificent park, which also helped preserve our environment. Thank you for being here. Thank you to Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. And the visitors that are here, thank you for celebrating Veterans Day with us. God bless our veterans and those who currently serve. Thank you for your dedicated service, your courage, and valor. God bless the city of Vallejo. God bless the United States of America. And with that said, I would like to introduce to you the mayor of the city of Vallejo, a decorated Vietnam veteran, Mayor Robert H. McConnell. Thank you very much, and Vice Mayor, and thank you for being here. When I read about this event in the paper, as many of you did, I was motivated for three things. One, to come out and present this certificate of appreciation to Discovery Kingdom for stepping forward and doing this, because most people don't. But also to speak with each of one of you. For those of you who actually made the effort to be here to acknowledge what the veterans do, I want to say thank you, because it is noticed and it is appreciated. But more especially, I want to speak to you as a veteran myself. I was a classic grunt, the rifleman in Vietnam in the Mekong Delta. When I came back, I hated government. I didn't want anything to do with the military. I didn't want anything to do with veterans. And over the years, it was the veterans community who helped me heal, who helped me become human again. So there is a calling to those of you who are in the veterans community today, who are friends of veterans. We know there are many wars that have come since Vietnam, and we know there are many veterans who have not come back, who have not come home. 
And you know many of them in your heart. You know many of them if you go about your day-to-day -day business. They're distant. They're unattached. I'm criticized for not looking at people. As a politician, I'm supposed to look deeply into somebody's eyes and take them off their feet like Bill Clinton did. Well, my training taught me to always look around the room and see who is over somebody's shoulder who is a threat. But it's the veterans community who has taught me to gradually overcome that. So when you encounter a veteran who hasn't quite come home yet, don't hit them over the head and say, you need to go seek out PTSD training. You need to go to the veterans organization. Instead, offer the hand of assistance gently, but continuously remind them that there is help in all of these veterans organizations. There are eight veterans organizations over here on Admiral Callahan Lane. We have more Purple Hearts and more Medal of Honor winners here than any other city probably should have in the United States. But that is a community. Many of you are interested and motivated to be a part of that community. So reach out to those people you know are still not quite home and gradually bring them home because that is a mission of the veterans community and the friends of the veterans community. So I thank you for being here. I thank you for your interest. And I would love to present this to uh, somebody from Discovery Kingdom because when I read about what you were doing, I was very impressed. I, was, I made it a specific left to come down here and say thank you very much. I appreciate it myself. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, please keep that round of applause going for all of our distinguished guests. We are so thrilled that you joined us here for Veterans Day weekend. We hope you enjoy the rest of your time here at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom.